Today we're going to be installing this 24 volt grow light kit in this sprinter van brought to us from Overland Interiors. The first thing we're going to do is walk through each one of these components. This is the first part of our solar system. It is a 340 watt Canadian solar solar panel. Uh, it is a shingled solar panel uh, which makes it even better during shading conditions. The next part of the system is this 24 volt 3 kilowatt grow light inverter. It has a built-in 60 amp MPPT controller as well as a 60 amp short charger so it allows you to charge from a standard AC source uh, and it also allows you to have your solar power right inside of this one unit making the installation very quick and simple. This right here is our isolated DC to DC alternator charging. This in simple terms just allows us to take um, energy from the car as it's running and charge up our batteries. It takes the 12 volt energy for your main car batteries, converts it over to the required 24 volt voltage that your battery needs to charge, and then it charges them right up. In this system, we're going to be using these 350 amp bus bars. This will allow us to connect all the parts of the solar system together, as well as the additional components of the system, such as the alternator charging, as well as uh, the output for the 12 volts, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So right here, we have our 24 volt to 12 to 12 volt step down converter. Essentially, what this will allow us to do is create a 24 volt system, which allows us to reap all the benefits of a 24 volt system, um, while allowing to give us 12 volt output for all the 12 volt electronics within the camper van. This right here is one of our fuses. The whole system is going to be protected with the proper fusing and wiring all throughout the system. Um, we will talk about the additional hardware that comes with the kit as the kit is put together. This will make it a little bit more simple to understand as we hook everything together. In this system, we're going to be using two 12 volt, 150 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. These batteries are good to go in series, so we'll hook them up in 24 volts, making a 24 volt, 150 amp hour battery together. Currently, on top of this van, they have two 100 watt old school solar panels up here. They're still monocrystalline, so they're not too bad. But yeah, we're going to replace these with a brand new 340 watt Canadian solar panel. All right, we're gonna use this uh, self-leveling cement over here. Um, we're gonna just cover all these holes that we just cleaned up. Uh, this is just obviously to avoid leaks. So the guy did not skimp up on screws, so this will take me a little second here, so let's get to it. So the system is all wound up now. As you can see uh, from the side angle here, I just wanted to give everybody a little perspective of how small the 24 volt system is compared to the side of the van, to the whole size of the van. That is due to the minimal equipment that we have to use and the fact that everything is compacted into one unit. Um, so now let's take a closer look at the different components and different things of what we've done here. Uh, basically note that things are still left a little bit messy and that is because there's still going to be some things that need to be built around this by Andy from uh, Overland Interiors. All right, so here's our system from the front here. What I just wanted to point out is the different components that we use in this system. In the middle of the system, we're going to notice here is that we have our 24 volt grow light. This unit has a 24 volt 3000 watt inverter built into it. It also has a 30 amp or I should say 40 amp um, input from an AC source. So in this case, it will be the short power. On the right side, we have our batteries. Those batteries are connected straight to a fuse from the top, from the top side. And from the bottom side, they're connected straight. Are basically the big and the big red and brown blocks that you see here on the side of the system. Uh, and now, by doing so, what we basically are able to do by connecting to these main bus bars, um, we're able to connect to the rest of the equipment. So that from both main bus bars, that's how we connect to our grow art inverter, um, our DC to DC charger from the short power, and also to the converter or the 12 volt output that we have going into the vent to the hybrid the power to the 12 volt electronics. Overall, the system is really made up of three main points. That would be the batteries, the inverter, and the converter from the shore power. Um, all connected and distributed to these three main bus bars, the red and the black. All right, everybody, so this was our 24 volt grow out system implemented into this Sprinter van. Again, this was a uh, job that we did for Andy in Overland Interior, over at Overland Interiors. Um, 
if you guys are interested in purchasing a kit like this or have any more questions about a kit like this, feel free to leave me the questions in the comments below. And if anybody is interested in purchasing uh, one of these kits for their campers or RVs, I, though they can be found at our, in our website at solarpowerstore.ca. Um, and again, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment below or feel free to reach out to our sales team and we can help you make sure that you choose the right size system for you. And until next time, remember, it's simple, it's easy, it's so easy.